Hey guys, my name is Sangeeta and welcome back to my classes Easy French. So today we are doing the accents. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hey, did you know? Hum French hi pad rahe hain. Okay, so let's understand French through Hindi. Hindi mein, Devnagri mein, do parts hote hain. Vyanjan and the swar. Right? Vyanjan a consonant. Means ka, ka, ga, ga, da, chal, chatra, gya, a consonants. And this a, a, e, e, u, u, a, swar, or you, vowels. Okay? Same thing. Now, to, these are matrae. Ye matrae represent karti hai in swaro ko. Jab hum kisi consonant ke saath in swaro ko lagate hai, to hum is tarah se likte hai. We do not write this way. We write this way. राइट तो के साथ बढ़िया की मात्रा लगाएंगे तो क्या बनेगा द साउंड विल चेंज का क के साथ छोटी की मात्रा लगाएंगे तो क्या बनेगा कि बड़ी की मात्रा से ही सो व्हाट वी आर सीइंग ओवर हियर इज विद ऑल दिस मात्राएं और द स्वर द साउंड ऑफ द कंसोनेंट इज चेंजिंग राइट नाउ हियर क में बढ़िया की मात्रा लगाएंगे तो क्या बनेगा का and no is kan means ear ka me au ki matra lagane se kya banega au ki matra lagane se kya banega a na to kon kon means who so now in matra se kya hua dono ekdam different words ban gaye right kan and kon two different words so in the same way french accents in french they change the sound or they change the meaning of the word now let's see first that how many accents are there in french okay okay so there are five accents in french how we pronounce the word accent in french is accent accent so there are five accents or accent in french first is accent aigu Exo aigu in English, acute accent. I've written in Hindi as well. Second is grave, grave, exo grave in English, grave accent. Third is circumflex, circumflex in English, circumflex. Fourth is trema, trema in English, trema. Last is, fifth is Cedier, cedier. In French, we say it as exo cedier. And English, sidlaisent or the sidla accent. So these are the five accents which we are going to study now in detail. Okay. So now this word is le sine autography. Okay. Sin means signs, and autography means whatever signs and symbol a language uses to write a word to spell a word to pronounce a word and the way the language is written like full stop comma all the punctuation marks hindi mein matrae and uh, in french asins and all these punctuation marks they come under this topic of lesin orthographic so we have already seen that there were five accents and now two more we are going to cover uh, in this topic one is postof means the apostrophe mark and the tredu neo tredu neo means the hyphen so in this topic of accents, we are going to cover these two also as well because they also in French help a lot in how the words are pronounced and how the words are contracted or they are compressed. Okay, so now let's see in detail. Okay, so accent aigu, accent aigu. Where it is found? It is found on letter E, always on letter E. No other letter will take an AQ. AQ, you see a little line over here on top. Okay, you see a little line on, over E, slanting line. Okay, small slanting line over here. So you have to write it this way. So this is the sign or the symbol of AQ. Now let's see some words. Now E, 
was pronounced as a uh. this we have seen in the alphabets so a uh, now j plus a uh is j m m plus a uh is m t plus a uh is t right now when i put a agu on top of e the sound from a uh will change to a so j a j m a b t a t so we will see together a a j j m a b t t so the x or a q it only changes the sound of letter e okay now let's see some words with x or a q we'll read it the french way now here e with an a q will be a so c l a is clair means a key c a r r a is carry means a square and a t u d e e a n t e etudion etudion means a student now you listen carefully i am saying etudion i am not saying etudion to why because t is mostly silent in french if it is in the end of the word okay if it is in the end of the word it is silent okay so next is exo graph exo graph where it is found it is found on a a u a a u can you see it's a again a slanting line but the other way and you will find this accent graph only on these three letters now what does it do this also when it is on e or the o letter it will change only the sound but when it is placed on a and u it changes the meaning of the word on a and u it changes the meaning of the word okay so let's see now with e graph it changes the sound only the sound now let's see this was without any uh, accent or the exo your x exo aq and your exo graph now this we have studied now let's see this now a which was a with aq now will be a a so this will be j a j m a a m a t sorry t a t so now let's read them together a a a j j j j m a m a m a t t t clear so this is the difference between the three without an accent agu accent and grave accent see this slide many number of times and you will get it gradually okay so let's see some words where the meaning changes so o u o is or in english whereas o u o with a grave means where okay l a la is an article and l a la with a grave means there pronunciation will be the same d e s t e is an article whereas d e s with a grave means as early as or from a small example de moi de november means d e s t e the meaning changes so here it means from november or as early as in november so the next is 
exo circumflex exo circumflex where do we find it on letter a e i o u means all the vowels they take the circumflex it's a little hat or an inverted v so the symbol or the sign is like this now where it is used generally it is used to omit a s after a vowel okay so let's see some example it will be more clear to you okay so now before starting a little information that as the video was getting uh, very lengthy i have divided it into two parts so do not forget to see the second part and i request please do not forget to like share and comment on the video thank you and let's begin again so the word forest okay so the word forest in english is written this way in french foe let's see why so es is there i told you s will be deleted and a circumflex will come over here on top of the vowel okay so your e a circumflex and this s is missing over here so they have deleted this s so this word becomes foe how we read it foe now p is silent i told you in the beginning so t is silent so that is why we read it as foe next word is honest honest again es is there s will be deleted and we'll put a circum a circumflex over here so see over here e circumflex and s is has been deleted so the word becomes unet unet now you can hear i'm pronouncing the t unet why because now there's a vowel after t so whenever there's a vowel after t you are going to pronounce this t okay next word is host again a vowel and s so o and s s this s will be deleted and a circumflex over here so this s has been deleted and a circumflex on top so we are going to read it as ut ut meaning is the same host ut now last word is please in french s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît we leave this part over here this is a verb which comes from infinitive is play the complete verb is play this is conjugated conjugations will do when we come to topic of verbs now so you see a i in a circumflex over here i is a vowel correct but do you see any s over here no there is no s after i so why the circumflex is here so to this why there is no answer the language is like that it is an exception you have to learn this in this manner only okay so sil vu play with a circumflex you have to learn it like that you have to do this by heart okay there is no reason over here why that circumflex is there so we have finished with this topic thank you for watching please do like and share thank you